Hi, this is Dr. Denola, Dental Wellness Center. I'm demonstrating a, a new ozone generating unit for dental applications by Promolife. It has a very nice design, very nice footprint for uh, chairside delivery. For me, it's set up right behind the patient here. I'd like to show some features of it today. So the best thing about ozone is being able to deliver it locally wherever we're working. So in this case, this is a pen, it's an endo pen, and we use different tips on here. And uh, this is just a, a flowable composite tip that we put, put on so we can use it in, uh, in the application directly in grooves before we do sealants, or if we're doing caries control or caries, we can do direct detailed um, applications. And then there's another kind of chamber or, or doming kind of thing that we use, this, this silicone cap. And this is really nice for just fumigating the entire occlusal surface at one time. Or, you know, it can be used for abfractions. Um, if there was an abfraction and we wanted to just desensitize a tooth because it is flexible and so we can press it onto the surface. This is an endo tip and it, it's a blunt, it's a blunt uh, side bore. And of course you can flex it and turn it however you want to. And then with the rheostat, we would be directing either, you know, for a pocket and, and we would do 20 gamma maybe for that. And, and we would infiltrate the gas there. And for a surgery, you know, when we have a, an extraction site, we like to flood the whole socket. So depending on, this is of course not, a, not what it looks like, but so depending on where the roots were, we kind of go into each root area, or if I'm doing uh, more advanced surgery with cavitations or something, I would go be able to kind of go into those, those sneaky little spaces, right? The way, this, the way this unit's set up is there's an ozone pass, or there's oxygen pass through, and then ozone is generated for making ozone water. And you can see this bubbling in here now. Um, a lot of dentists will use ozone water to disinfect patients' mouths. Uh, doing a pre-rinse today in the times that we're in now, but we did it even before that, just to, just to lower the bacterial load, lower the 700 species of bacteria that are in our, our mouths. Um, in this case, there's a, there's a chamber and then there's a catalytic converter that destroys the ozone. In this case, this is passing through. This is the catalytic converter also if we were just to turn this off and use it to, um, if we wanted to directly get ozone for some reason, for MAH or for other reasons. Promolife has it, this really nice dental unit here. Very nice footprint if this is the scale of my hand here, we can see. Here's the power button. And a lot of times we like to get ozone moving through this machine or oxygen through the machine uh, clean medical grade oxygen through the machine before we turn it on. We will see that bubbling into the, uh, the flask and so it confirms that there is actually air moving through. This is a quick cheat sheet that uh, Promolife has developed. Basically what we're showing here is the LPM liters per minute down this side and then this is the concentration that we, we would be putting on the unit. So any way you can get to 20, you know, for general use for 20 gamma. So you could do a half a liter a minute and then dial it to three, or you could do a three quarters. And anyway, this is how we dial in the gamma. And I, I'd like to describe this in terms of, really the power of ozone is low and slow and depending on what procedures we're doing. So for ear insufflation, you want to go lower, more gentle, uh, and you don't want to go low, you don't want to go fast uh, in terms of liters per minute because you just don't want it to blow in the ears that fast. So you want to go in low, slow, and low gamma. For any general use with ear insufflation, we might be between 7 and 12 or something like that. So we stay maybe in the 1 liter, although that's that's kind of a fast flow. So you want to back it off maybe a little bit. So you go, how do we get to maybe three quarters, we can get to the gamma that would be required for ozone insufflation. So between seven and 12 may be something that we would do. 
And typically I like to have it be hydrated, so I, I usually run it through the water, but it doesn't have to be. You can also put water uh, gauze on the patient's, in the patient's ears. And we do this for sinus infections and really just an added value to the treatment. Um, as, we, as we progress up, so general use is about 20 gamma for a lot of things that we do. And then as we go up, for general use, we're using 20 for infected bone and surgery that we do. So any way to get to 20. Well, I like to have a little bit more flow that I can see bubbling. So I will do, um, sometimes I'll do three quarters and eight, and so I can actually see it generating more bubbles. Um, if you go slower, of course, it's, you won't see as many bubbles, but you can get higher concentration of gamma because the ozone, I mean the air, is going more slowly through the unit and it's generating higher gamma because it's going more slowly through the unit. As you increase the power, you'll get higher gamma um, on the other end. The dialing in the, um, the gamma we want is just a single touch. So if I was going to do a cavity, let's say a cavity control type situation, I would change the I would change the liters per minute, and I would do an eighth and, and 58. And then to activate, to turn on the ozone itself, the machine will start to generate. You might hear a buzz. You may not hear anything, but three seconds down, one, two, three, let off, and you see the blue lights on. You can hear a little bit of a fan going at this point. So there's a rheostat here on the floor. Can I show the rheostat? This is on the floor and we would turn on and off the ozone instantly with, with the rheostat. So what's convenient about it is it's, of course, a foot pedal on the floor. If I was with a patient right now and I pressed this on, we'd be suctioning, always scavenging, you know, around the area, and we'd be generating ozone right now, right on the tooth. So this is kind of how we do it. We say, okay, we're going to go into the patient's mouth, we're going to turn it on, and we're going to do the ozone. My goal is always just to, to spread the good news about ozone, and I'm so happy about um, how it's utilized. Uh, in fact, now we're doing mouth rinses. We're even making, I'm making bottles so we can spray on surfaces. So it's kind of an expansion of what we were doing in the uh, current time.